Hey, what's up, YouTube? Your boy is back. Phone tech here. It's been a while since I last posted a video. And uh, in this video, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to customize your apps on iOS 14 or 14.0.1 as of this video. And like most of you have seen that on TikTok or some other apps where like people are bragging about their themes. Yeah, so in this video, I'm going to just show you how to customize your icons on iOS 14, 14.1, or anything beyond. So stay tuned, guys. So guys, for this demonstration, I'm going to be using an iPhone SE 2016 running iOS 14.0.1. The latest from Apple, as you can see here. So uh, for this demonstration, guys, I'm going to be downloading an app. I mean, I already have it, just want to show you the app itself called Brass App Store. This one here makes you customize your app icons, so it makes you download some themes. Um, so I already have it. Make sure to download it first, and then you have a variety of themes you could use to customize your apps. So in this case, I'm going to hit on download for this one. Yeah, and I'm going to allow it to access my photos. Now, as you can see, guys, it tells you to open shortcuts app because that's how it works. And uh, following steps. So, guys, what I'm going to do next is go to shortcuts. Gonna hit on add, add action, go for scripting, open app, choose, and then calculator, for example. Gonna hit next. Gonna name it calculator, for example. I mean, you should. Calculator one, because I already have a calculator here. And then, guys, I'm gonna head on. That's here, add to home screen. If, once I hit add to home screen, I'm gonna get this. So the name is still calculator like I did. Um, I'm gonna try to still do calculator normally. I'm gonna go for choose file. And guys, like you do remember when I downloaded the thing, the theme, that's the theme here. So it just downloads the icons. And that's a calculator, choose, add and done now guys once i go to the home screen i have the calculator app which sadly has to jump to the, to the shortcut app first then it goes to calculator next case i'm gonna go for another app let's say i'm gonna add so add action scripting open app choose no calculator again add action open apps choose and then i'm gonna go for camera next gonna name it camera then guys it's here gonna click on it hit the three dots here add to home screen choose file and this camera should be somewhere here yeah that'll do and that usually would be facetime but i mean just a demonstration here and done so as you can see guys, now I have the camera app as well, which is very cool. So the only flow guys is that it has to jump through shortcuts app first and then it would enter the app itself. Um, I hope Apple changes this in the coming update. So guys, next step, which makes sense, you just make a, create a folder with the apps you already duplicated or created shortcuts off and just say, name it like, for example, useless. <laughs> and take it somewhere else hide it somewhere where no one sees it and then you could just use this camera app and this as well as this calculator app and put them here as you can see guys now my calculator app looks different as well as my camera app looks different as well which is really cool plus guys of course you could add some widgets to make your phone look really whatever, however you want, actually. I guess technically you can use anything for for an icon's des the design. So you could just, let's say I'll take a picture of that. That's a picture. I can go to shortcuts. My shortcuts, I'm gonna create something. Add action, scripting, open app, choose. 
I'm gonna hit books, for example. I'm gonna go next. I'm gonna call it books. I'm gonna then click on books, add it. Oops, sorry, three dots. And gonna add to home screen. I'm gonna pick this picture, which I just took, and done. So as you can see, guys, the picture I just took is the books icon. So technically, guys, you can design your own icons. Of course, you can get icons from Google, from anywhere. You can do whatever you want. So you can customize your phone in the way you like it to look. All right, guys, that was the video. Hope you liked it. If you have any questions, just comment down below, like, and share the video.